Hi, ED. Ho, everyone. My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to our randomized Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke Challenge. And in today's video, we continue on our journey. We're about to meet Team Aqua for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. New people have been added to the party. We're going to progress. We got Perry, Hannah, Ashley, Tenzo. Some of these might be permanent. Some of these might be not. Depends on who we catch, what we do. And with that, though, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special video because you guys have crushed... Like, I, I never can really say this, but you guys actually crushed the like goal. Uh, Monday through Friday, or Monday through Thursday, rather. Every video had more than 5,000 likes. Some hit, like, 6,000, 7,000. You guys are killing it. And, like, honestly, I don't even think it helps the video. It helps me. Like, seeing that many likes and stuff, because on my main channel, you know, sometimes, like, a good video hits, like, 4,000, and that makes me feel good. But, like, seeing so much on a second channel with way less subs... And on uh, Pokemon videos, but seeing all the likes and the comments, ah, <laughs> tickles my little fancy and it helps all this demonetization crap. But with that said, honestly, probably saying that just triggered the bot. So I'm sure that'll also demonetize this video. Not important. Anyway, today's video is the uh, hour power, power of hour, hour of power. It's an hour long episode. So that's going to get done. Hopefully nobody's going to die and we will progress together. So, you know the rules though, make sure to like the video and comment down below for a chance at being named after one of the Pokemon. Now, we'll do the same thing where all the videos leading up in the next week, if they can all hit 5,000, we will again do another hour-long episode next Friday. But that's in a week's time. And also, I mentioned it before, and if you're new to the channel, I'll just mention it one more time. Uh, second channel posts once a day, Monday through Friday. So on the weekend, this won't be going live, but expect it to come back next Monday. My apologies, but I need to sleep sometimes. Crazy, right? Um, but yeah, with that said, who is in the lead? Perry? Okay, we'll just keep Perry out. And we'll help this dude out. Asama, dude. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. No, but there are me Mega Alakazams if you're into that. This guy also weir walks so weird like he's, he has a back problem. I was gonna ambush you, but you had to dwaddle in Pedalberg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Ah! <laughs> Aye! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me. Please! He's a Oh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. I don't know why, but every time I, I say that, I wanna say Agua. Team Agua. <laughs> I don't know why. Come and battle me. Do your worst. Pating! Well. <laughs> well, the wind straights grunt. I most certainly will. Cometh addeth you. If every Team Aqua is a wind straight, that will be amazing. Holy sweet Jesus! Um. Well, hey, hi, how are ya? Uh. Yeah, so that's that's a Mega Pinsir. That's a thing. Um. Wow. Okay. What do you know? I have no idea. But if you know a bug type, attack. Perry's dead. Perry's as good as dead. Uh, do you know a grass type? Because Nintendo's dead. A Ashley. This is kind of terrifying. It's a level 9 mega pincer. Sweet baby Jesus. We about to just get wrecked? Oh my god. This is when I would have used my Mega Alakazam if I had one. Actually, no, I probably would have also switched out because I don't trust your bug type. What does Pinsir know? Is Ashley the best one here? Ashley just uses knockoff and sand attack and sa I don't know. I don't want to risk it knowing a grass type attack because I feel like that's not out of the question. Although, probably not. It may probably knows, like, just normal type attacks, right? Probably not gonna risk it though. Ashley, get on in here. You're pretty beefy. So you can take whatever this dude's gonna dish out, right? Also, real talk though, I've never actually fought a Mega Pinsir. It looks sick. Okay, Vice Grip. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, only 12 damage. That's manageable. That's manageable. 
let's start off with a knockoff, just in case you have any item that you're benefiting from right now. That did more damage than I thought. Ah, get rid of your Koba berry. You might be like, Mr. Fruit, what does uh, what does a Koba berry do? That's a great question. Um, so he's getting his energy focus, which I believe raises his chance to crit next strike. But if he does a vice grip, we should survive the crit regardless. So I'm just going to knock off. We'll go for a three hit knockout here. Actually, it's, now it doesn't look like it's going to three hit. Okay. It was a crit. That's fine. Because we're still healthy. We're eating it. We're eating it. I'm going to go ahead and heal Ashley up here. Whew, this win straight. Really making me work for this one. Another vice grip. Do it. Do your worst. Gonna have to use another potion. But my god, the experience we should get here, right? Give me all that XP. For both <laughs> Ashley will be our, our uh, ace Pokemon, evidently. A trump card. Alright. Now that we're done playing Nice Sky. It's time for you to die. Yeah. Four hit. That's a seismic toss. Where did that come from? All right, we're fine. Scared me a little bit. Kind of came out of left field, but we're good nonetheless. Nobody died. We got through it. And at the end of the day, I don't think it even knew any bug type attacks, actually. Because I'm pretty sure Vice Grip's a normal type attack. Um, so, fair enough. Hey, Ashley wants to learn Quick Attack, though. Sure, sure, why not? Um, Hardener Sand Attack. These both have practical uses. I feel like Sand Attack probably more over Harden. Actually, no. You know what? I will swap out Sand Attack. Call me crazy. You know, that's... Truly, I, I'm sure that's going to be a hot debate down in the comment section. I'm Team Sand Attack. No, I'm Team Harden. Couldn't even remember what the other move was. Yeah. Perry's level 11, though. You, you, you're crazy strong. Yeah, give me your money. A scram. Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Aqua also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Yeah, if uh, all the Team Aqua grounds have Pokemon like that, I'm scared. Whew, that was awfully close thanks to you. He didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. Ah. Good old experience share. The EXP share is a super high-tech device. I had to strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on, and battle experience will be shared by all party Pokemon. Please give it a try. And with this, I'll restore your Pokemon's health. It's another technical advance that I'm proud of. Okay, so, we have a decision to make. Ah, didn't that Team Aqua Thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? Well, well, it's a crisis. I can't be wasted time. So, uh, I don't know if I can do, like, a poll... Maybe just comment down below. Or maybe I just make an executive decision. We could turn on the experience share. But I'm honestly thinking we don't. I feel like that would be too easy. We're already over leveling. Yeah, okay. Unless something changes, or at some point we are suddenly drastically lower level. You know, something something happens. We'll, we'll reassess. But for now, experience share, not getting turned on. Let me make sure it's actually not turned on by default. Off. Okay, it was turned off. There we go. All right. So don't have to worry about that. Um, what was that noise? Is that another Alakazam? Alakazam. I don't actually know where it was. Oh, it's right over there. You're really far away, though. I'm curious what you are. We might have already detected you, but... Just go ahead, creep on in there. Hello? We just step on it. <sniffs> All right, survey says, have we already seen this? Oh, yeah, it's... <sighs> Another Mega Alakazam. What are you gonna do? It alerted it to Perry's... C God, okay. We both have confusion, crazy. Um, you know what, though? You can get some nice XP off this, Perry. Six levels below, and it's still faster than us. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, Pound's probably a better option here anyway, because he resists. 
Ah, yeah, look at this. Look at you. Oh, I'm a mega alakazam. Fear me. Ah, uh, bro, I got leftovers. And I'm a drop. I didn't even think about that. You know what? It's actually probably best we didn't fight Mega Alakazam. Because if we didn't catch it first or second try, it probably teleports out. I didn't even think about that. Wow. And then I would have I would have been even more livid if that was my encounter and we lost it. So, you know what? That's we got to look at it. Glass half full. That's what we got to do. Yo there, you Pokémon doing okay? You should stay out of the tall grass if not. All right. Thanks, little dude. All right, Hannah. Your time to shine. Ashley's just killing right now. Ashley, I need you to slow your rope, girl. Because you're kind of killing it. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. Honestly thought he'd give me an item. Oh, Street Thug James. Because remember, we're not going to be fighting everybody. Just because, like I mentioned, we're already over leveling. Sigalith is either Psychic Flying or Ghost Flying. I want to say. Can't remember which, but either way, Bite should be super effective. Sigalith is 5th gen, I do believe. Oh, speaking of which, it was like two videos ago or something now. But I was mentioning how every gen had an electric mouse. And somebody helped me out and posted everyone that came out. So, gen 1 was obviously Pikachu. Gen 2 was Pichu. Gen 3 was Puzzle and Minin. Gen 4 was Pachirisu. Gen 5 was Emolga. Gen 6 was... I don't know how you Dedin? Dedin? Something like that? It's that weird miniature looking Raichu. And then Gen 7 was Togedemaru. So I, w I wasn't. Oh, oh, Poison Tail. That actually kind of seems fuego. Hold on. Oh, that's not as powerful as I thought. Well, could poison the target. Critical hit, slam more easily. 50 base damage. Better than. Well, Bite's actually pretty effective. Uh, we'll get rid of Rap. Yeah, don't think we need Rap. Bop bop. Hannah learned Poison Tail. Hannah, you're coming in clutch right now. Get out of my face, Thomas. Street thug, Thomas. I want nothing to do with you. And an ether because items aren't randomized and we're sad about it. I love, like, it's actually kind of ridiculous how much fun I have doing this series. Because it just seems like, oh, oh. This is the Paddleberg Recut team. Check it in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Bat. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something crapped up and got the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue to investigate that you would say it. Wow. Hard to do a girl voice for me. That's the thing, too. When I was younger, you know, before I hit puberty, I could make, like, the girliest scream you ever heard. And then, well... To put it, you know, some things dropped, and now I can't. And now I can hardly, like, <laughs> Like, that's me trying to do a high-pitched thing. It just doesn't work. So I can't really go high on the Richter scale. I can go low, but that's about it. Uh, but anyway, I like doing this series because it's, like, it's perfect. You guys get user engagement, right? You can literally be in this series with comments and me naming Pokemon. I, I have time to just chill and play. And it's like, I'm with you. You know, it's more like one-on-one -on -one kind of stuff. Where I get to talk to you guys directly. And it, it's just, it's perfect. Although, in a real, in a, in a perfect scenario, if I could just, like, move my views to any one game and stay consistent, like, on my main channel, I'd probably be a Hearthstone streamer. That's the dream. It's like a perfect balance of everything, I think. You don't fight me, do you? Oh, what? Oh, I thought... You seem so sweet and innocent. What? what? May, will you leave me alone? Are you trying to tell me something, girl? Like, listen, we just saw you. Listen, it hasn't been that long. Oh, hey, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Back off, girl, okay? Seriously, though, you are everywhere. You're like every trainer. I don't know what's up. Level 10 Finnegan. Hold on. Wait. Oh. I thought we were on par. Well, I mean, Hannah is our lowest. Everyone else would normally be higher level. So I guess take that as you will. Uh, we're going to Poison Tail. This should just be a two-shot, right? Oh, yeah, with the power of Stab. <laughs> ah, tail Whip. 
Max AI, my anus. Don't even want to go for like an ember or something. Now get out of my face. Ooh, Hannah's level 11. Hannah just shot right up there. Shot through the ranks. May, I don't know how many times I have to fight you, but it, it feels like it's going to be quite a while, I guess. Are you... You're not a trainer. You are a trainer. Okay. I. Oh! You know what's past this bridge, though? The bit... What? It, okay. I think when it said randomized trainers, it's randomized... Brizian? Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Only level six. All right, we're fine. Uh, I got a little scared for a second. I was like, all right, that's higher level. Could be faster, could be more dangerous, but now with a crit too. Yeah, it's going down. See ya. Nice legendary May. Yeah, apparently every trainer just got randomized to May. Anyway, beyond this bridge is the very first Pokemon double battle. Very first. We will switch into, I guess, Tenzo. We don't have anything good for Steel. Hannah sucks against Steel. Ashley sucks against Steel. You suck it. Yeah. Tenzo is really the only thing we got going right now against Steel. Uh, but yeah, so, because if you didn't know, in the third gen is when double battles were first introduced, and there's these two little twins past this bridge. And this is, I mean, it might not be the first one you do, because I don't think it's a mandatory battle, like, I think you could get past them if you didn't want to fight them. But if you played the game and you did fight them, they would be the first double battle. So, I was I always thought that was so cool. I was like, wow! A double battle. It's amazing. I can use two Pokemon at once. And I mean, to be fair, it, it did change the game. <clears throat> All right, we don't have cut, so it does not matter. Ah, see, these are the twins. Maybe they are mandatory. I thought you could. Maybe you go around over here. Hold on. We're going to find out. No, you can't. Oh, so maybe they are mandatory. What's up? You've done a Pokemon. Beautiful. Oh, Volt Switch. Uh, what? A word of advice. It won't. Okay, so... Pickup items don't seem to be randomized, but... Yeah, I don't think Team 49... Wow, those two can learn Volt Switch? I don't think that's normally Volt Switch. I don't think we would normally get Volt Switch this early in the game. So the TM should still be randomized, so that's nice. I could give this... I... Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I think I mentioned this. This is pretty funny. I, um... I randomized the TMs, obviously, but then I randomized each Pokemon's ability to match up with TMs. Because normally, you know, they would be able to do TM, nah, 27 Bubble Beam, let's say, because they're a water type. Well, now TM 27 won't be Bubble Beam. So I figured, you know what? Screw it. It won't even make any sense. Just let them learn random TMs again. So now they can learn Volt Switch, uh, which I might actually do. Let me see who has higher special attack. Your special attack is doo-doo. Yours is not. All right, we'll give it to Swampert. Because uh, you don't really need it there, Ashley. Although it wouldn't be worst case, but yeah, no, we'll just... We'll give this to uh, Tenzo for now. Booted up a TM. It contains Volt Switch. Yes! This is going to be the first Swampert to ever know Volt Switch. Uh, we'll get rid of Growl. That's quite a move set already, my friend. You're already potent as ever. I love it. I love it. Let's grab some berries. Two Orin berries. Really, the only berries I ever... Whenever I'd play the games, the only berries I'd actually put on a Pokemon would be Orin berries. Never really use the other ones. Am I? Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. I don't utilize my berries well enough. I also need to check... Make sure my TS isn't dying. That wouldn't be... Uh, very good. I think I get a watering... Oh, wait. I think there's... What is this? Oh. Oh, it wants me to plant a berry. It was just sparkling, so I thought there was like a hidden item. Uh, anyway, I think... Speaking of items, though... Wait a minute. This is our encounter for Route 
One, oh, four, five, five. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me check my deck schnav here. This is, this is, hold on, where are we? Places. Route 104, Pedalberg. Oh, yeah, see, that's a good thing. I just checked that. This is not a new encounter. This is still Route 104. Okay. Good catch there, Mr. Fruit. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one might just stretch all the way, and it does. So, no, not a new encounter. What was that Pokemon? I don't know, but I ran away from it. It did sound pretty cool, though. It sounds like a Pokemon I'd be upset that I didn't encounter in the first place. Which, the... Oh, no! Oh! That was... <sighs> oh, no! Krogunk's my favorite Pokemon! You tell me we could have had a Krogunk? Oh. Uh. Dang it! No wonder the, the noise sounded so familiar. Oh. Fudge. Can, it, can, is it, can we do like one special clause where I just catch this dude and... No? All right. Dang it. We were so close to having a crow gunk. Ah, oh, man. Sucks. Sucks, buddy. Just, uh, it's a downer. We're just gonna run away, though. We're already high enough level, and I would never want to bring harm to a Krogunk. Fun fact for you, actually, Blue, because he's beautiful, gave me a shiny Krogunk for my birthday. So I have it on uh, my son version. I've never EV trained anyone, but I, I want to EV train that poor guy. Well, I don't even know. I don't know if his natures and stuff is correct. Plus, I don't know if I want to be Toxic Croak. I mean, I love Toxic Croak too. Krogunk, Toxic Croak, probably my favorite two Pokemon. There's, there's like a few I really like, but yeah, I think those would be my favorite. They are, they're like legit Neth. So we gotta, excuse me, fight secret base trainer Gina and Mia. Sorry if I gotta drink some water here soon too. My, oh, what? My, my voice is a little hoarse. Uh, and an hour of Pokemon really, really does it, does it in. Okay, so Azumara has Bubble and Scizor is sick. So that's where we're at right now. Um, what do we have for Scizor? Because uh, he's steel type, so poison tail won't do much here. Could bite him. I think he still resists that. Lick him. It's not going to do much. Is Azumarill... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Azumarill... I think Azumarill's fiery type now, right? I'm going to look this up right now. Uh, hold on. Fairy weakness. Steel and poison. Ah! So I was right. Okay, cool. So we should be able to just poison tail this son of a gun for now. Get it over with. And if it doesn't kill it, I'm going to double down. Hmm. Because confusion will do like nothing to Scizor. Let's actually go with a... Let's go with a hypnosis on Scizor. See if that'll land. Uh, poison tail. What? Ha 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 It is fairy type. I knew it. Because I remember the first time I played it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Perry, hit the hypnosis. Yes. Thank God. What the fudge did that thing use? I didn't even pay attention. Something bug type, obviously. Should have realized. Yeah, hey, BT Dubs probably knows bug type. Uh, I'm actually just going to swap Perry out while Sizzler's asleep. Not risking it. Um, our best bet here would be Ashley and Hannah have the same exact, they have a poison type attack and dark type attack, so they're not very helpful. We'll go into Tenzo, because Tenzo can deal with anyone. Wait, no, wait, oh, wait, oh, fudge, no, I don't want it. okay, got that backwards, hold on. I'm gonna poison to Azamero, and we're gonna, s I was trying to switch out Survivor for some reason. Whoops, good thing we didn't mess that up. Scissor is fast asleep. Good, good. Was he about to use Pursuit? That's the... He had to use some move priority. Because the only way it would go faster if we're switching. Yeah, so... It, pursuit or something. 
What the fudge? It might have been whatever move he used before. If we'd actually died to that, are you kidding me? Hannah, though, wants to learn Screech. You know what? I love that you're trying new things, but no. Holy experience gain! 364 XP? What? Tenzo's eating right now. Perry probably, yeah, boost on up through too. Yeah, Jesus. All right, well. All right, so what do, what do I want to go for? Let's go for b b b b b b b b b Lick does like nothing. But we'll, eh, we'll go for a bite anyway. Because we're going to hope that Mud Slap can do this, this. G -g go go All right. How much damage? More than I thought. Oh, it doesn't resist dark. Why not? Re th why not I think it resists dark? I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't. So hey, that's good news. I think I'm thinking of poison. I don't know why I get that mixed up. But see, that that's my favorite thing too. Is there are still people in the comment section that'll be like. You know, oh my gosh, how do you not know this? Or you should have done this, or blah, blah, blah. But it, it's very few, and plus there's so many comments. You know, I don't have to see them all. Because normally on my main channel, with certain games, the entire comment section is just telling me exactly how I didn't play, how they would have played, or how bad I am. With this Pokemon, even, I, I told you guys, you know, I'm a little rusty, or I forget some things. Like, Kato literally died because it was my fault. And you know what? We just go through it. It's very stress-free. I like that. Uh, headbutt is not bad, though. Wait. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, forget. No, stop. Yeah, I was going to say don't. Pound is 40. This is 70. Yep, not even not even a debate. See ya, pound. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Get out of here. Wow. All right. Thanks for the uh, that experience. Yeah, we are... So what does that make us now? 14 10. Ashley was our ace, but now look at this. How the tides have turned. Take over for us, Ashley. Even though we might already be at Rustboro. Almost. We could fight this fisherman. There's an old lady here. Hey, come here, Shay. Come here so Grandma can kiss you. How am I going to weigh, Al? Smell like prune juice. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you, but okay. Chesto berry, thank you. Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't do? I didn't go into that shop. Because I, I think I get a watering thing there. I, I talked about it, but then I just got the item, and then we found Crow Gunk, and then I got distracted. So let me run back real quick. We might not actually get anything there. And I don't know why I would ever even use the watering thing, but that's... Neither here nor there. We're going for a 100% completion speed run. What are you talking about? Hello, your name is Fruit. Would you like to learn about sure berries? Alright, whatever I'm out. Maybe you give me something, but I'm not going to talk to everybody. Also reminds me when I played Ruby... Sapphire and Emerald, though, the thing that blew my mind was, like, I could stand right here and I'd see my reflection in the water. Like, I would come to these puddles and it would show, like, the clouds in the sky and it would show my reflection that blew my mind. I was like, this so realistic! Now look. Look at how far we've come. Let me get this totally not randomized item. It's gonna be sick. An X defense. Yes! Just what I was looking for. Sick. I've literally, like, never used those once anytime I've ever used Pokemon. I just don't do it. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you guys do. Maybe I'm sleeping on it. I don't know. Oh, hey, man. So you made it here to Respiro too, Fruit. This is a nice-looking city. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. No, no, it cannot. That's the gem. Oh, and fruit, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gem here, too. Yeah, I'm about to wreck him. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. See you later, alligator. I should, you know, I'll stock up on some stuff, too. I think I'm actually running low on Pokeballs. And if there's anything... Oh, what is this? 
Excuse me, trainer over there. Do you have a minute? You know, sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon. You end up making a Pokemon faint even when you don't want to for such a common problem. Fudge! Aw, oh, dang it! He was actually, he was going to give me false swipe. Fudge. False swipe is a very handy move. Dang it! I would have actually liked that. But at the same time, we did just get Outrage. Which no one can use. Feels bad. Well, never mind. Almost everyone can learn False Swipe, I think. So maybe I shouldn't have randomized what they can use. <sighs> you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Alright, let's buy some stiff. Let's buy... 17 Pokeballs. How many potions we got? I also get a Premier Ball. Yes! Let's get five more potions. Beautiful. Call that day. I like how they have, like, the Pokemon prices and items, like, top left of the Pokemon Center. Or the Pokemart. It reminds me of, like, the stock boards, you see. Uh, Pokemart's very busy, though. Wow, look at that. A lot of people looking for goods. I need to check all the houses. It's been a while, but I do think some people gave me some stuff. What about you, little lady? Uh... Take that as a no. What about you? Hello? Uh-huh. Okay. You guys are pretty useless. These are some short stairs you got here. Hello! What's our uh, planning meals? Alright. So, not this house. We can knock this one off. The list. Just cross it out. Don't come back here. And don't you come back now, you hear? This guy does give me cut. Right? That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you will be able to... Uh, I got an HM. Let's just say that. HM01 cut. Acquired. Whating! Any Pokemon that learns cut can drop down quickly trees. Okay. I don't need to use that right now. Unfortunately, we don't have an HM slave yet either. For better or for worse, that's still the best thing I love about 7th gen. Is that they made it so you don't have to use HMs anymore. You just have the ride system. Or the Pokeball, whatever they call it. That's, that's the dream, man. I have the looks of a Pokemon breeder? No. Wait, what? That's... That's what... What if I say no? Then what do I look like? Oh, this is for when I play. Uh, this is the trainer I look like when we do, when I do an online battle. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's like where's my gift? All right, whatever. None of this. None of these things are randomized too, so I guess I shouldn't care too much about the items. There is someone around here wanting to trade though. Um, and the trade should be randomized. What is this? Okay, let me search. Oh, they'll just show me Shroomish. Alright, well that's useless. No, don't go to the Pokedex. No. No, stop. Hold on, no. Let me go back to the map. Hold on, I can do this. There, we can press that button. Okay, we did it. But given the name Pikachu, we don't have to kev ke or, uh, catch a Pikachu, but we can pretend we have one. Look at this guy. This guy's got a two-story. Yeah, it must be nice being rich. What you got? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna say you're not looking to trade. No one in here is looking to trade. Time really flies, but uh, no way, no way. I'm a grown-up woman. No, you're not. You're very young, just like me. Don't ask. Again, why a 10-year-old out battling with dangerous monsters uh, is in a random stranger's house and nobody bats an eye. Pokemon trainer school. Pass. I know what I need to do. I think this is where they want to trade. No, okay. Alright, I give up. Just waste a lot of time doing absolutely nothing. Well done, me. Only me. God. Really thought that I, they wanted to trade in there. Did I even heal my... I did heal my Pokemon. Yes. Short-term memory loss. Sorry. Pokemon, you get in trade from someone else grows faster, but you've done enough gems. Gem badges, it may not listen to you. This is a bigger building. What's in here? Oh, is this the fossil place? I think this says. This houses people of the Devon Corporation. 
Yo. My dad's a real ace in the Devon Corporation, I'll have you know. Here, I'll give you something that an ace trainer like me uses. A float stone. Thanks, dude. You have Pokemon to hold a float stone? Its weight will be halved. Interesting. Interesting. No, don't- I don't want you to sit! Way back in the old days, they have a mm hmm Anything else? Better safe than sorry. What do you want? What you want? Nothing. What you want? Nothing. Okay. I should really give up on this whole exploration thing because you guys... You know, I don't- I don't get- I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute, that was just an ace trainer, and now he's a hiker, and he says, For some reason, I put on a lot of weight recently. Uh, get it? Because he gave me the float stone? It's funny. Clever Pokemon. Clever. I'm glad I caught that. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. Uh, what do you want? Have you taken on... No, okay. Can I go... You want to trade Pokemon. This is it. I know it is, I know it is. This- he wants to trade. Fudge! Oh! Wanna trade your Slackoth for my Makuhita? Oh. Huh. Never mind, okay. Guess the trades aren't randomized either, that's what feels bad. But now I just know trades will never be a thing. We're gonna go ahead and try and get some more encounters here, though. Um, this might be blocked off. No, it's not. Route 116. What beauty do you hold for us? Please! For everything that's good and holy, tell me it's something just sick. Something I can't pass up. Something I will scream and glee for, okay? That's what I'm looking for right now. I'm asking a lot, but come on! A lot of possibilities! Survey says... Just my third flying type, that's fine. Okay. What are you gonna do? Don't kill him. Oh, thank God, I actually thought you were gonna kill him. I was like, L I can't lose two encounters already. And then, I've, I've, I've killed the only po good encounter we've got so far. RIP. Kato, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Pokeballs. Use a freaking Pokeball. Taylor, okay, get inside, and then let's never talk about the skin. 100% you're the worst one in this route. Are you, you're not going to get the Pokeball? You want to be like this? You don't want to get on my bad side. Or else you'll never see the light of day, because you're going to be stuck in a PC. Now that is some Pokemon abuse. Uh, I need to open up my names. I don't have my names open. Let me do that in a second. All right. Gotcha. Taylor was caught. Just another fine type. It's fine, guys. Ashley leveled up, though. Level 14. Hey. Oh. Our team is looking really, really weak. Really weak. Really weak. Our team is looking really weak. Really, really weak. Taylor is young. It has only just left its nest. As a result, it's some time but to have a It is a female. Female Taylor. We will give it a nickname. As soon as I find the names, open that up. I can't. Okay. Our names. We have. A female name, Jordan. Jordan the Taylor. You'll sit in our party for now because we don't even have six Pokemon. Um, but as long as Gligar's on the team, can't imagine you'll have a spot. And I'd rather have Gliscor than... Uh, what is it? Taylor, Swellow. Taylor, Swellow. Uh, that's it, actually, right? You only evolve once. No. I don't actually know. I never used Taylor. Um, again, just because I like to torture myself. You hear that? The fudge is that noise? Fudge! No, I wanted to see what it... Dude, now we're fighting 
May again. Jesus. May's everywhere. We're fighting May 27 times a day. And on top of this, a Taylor. This guy's a Crobat. It's only level 7, though. Let me knock off whatever you got. Oh, hey, you know what? We shouldn't immediately give up, though. Because... Could have a cool item. We have no idea what the item could be. But for all we know, it's a Master Ball. Which is will be totally useful on all these sick encounters we're getting. Lugia? Oh. Um. Yeah, okay. That happened. Well, it's a good thing I have Tilt-Tilt-Tinto by my side. If he, like, if he not only send out Lugia, but, like, a shiny Lugia. Oh, my God, look at how sick it is. Where's my Lugia? Why aren't I encountering Lugia? What the fudge? Get Volt Switched, bro. Wrecked. Get on my face. Wow, that didn't kill you? That's surprising. I thought that would kill you. Well... Now what can I send in that won't die? Hannah should be fine. Hannah, you're fine, girl. Walk it off. Just walk it off. Whirlwind. Oh, okay, well, we're going to do this again. And send out Tenzo. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. You know what? I appreciate that. Appreciate you helping me out like that. I'll finish off with a tackle because I don't want to Volt Switch yet. Get out of my face, Lugia. I never want to see you around here again because you just depress me. Thanks for the experience, though. Much appreciated, mi muchacho. Hannah, just getting so much free XP. Frodo just showing up and then getting sent back out. A Lampert. You know Knockoff. I believe in you, Ashley. I believe in the heart of Glagger. Come on. You know, the interesting thing about Nuzlocke, though, is, you know, it does make me use Pokemon I never used before. Never went through with a Surviper. Never went through with a Gligar. I think I've done Drowsy a few times for Hypno. Especially in the original games, but not the point. Ashley, grow in the level 15. No, let's go. Uh-huh. So, yeah, is like every trainer may? Because that's what it seems like. All right. We lost the uh, roaming Pokemon, whatever you even call it. But we can still just check in the gra- What was that noise? It looks like, uh, honestly, the way the ears look, it looks like an alakid. But I know that's not what it is. What is it? I know it's not a Taylor. I would have actually still preferred you. Because you're grass, which we don't have. Um... Yeah, that sucks. Which, the first time I saw Maractus, like, honestly, if he showed me Cacnea or Maractus, I would both think they could turn the Cacturn. Um, yeah, I would, I would have preferred Maractus, certainly over Talo. Again, different typage. But, say la vie, as. What is that? Is that French? I think it's French. Will, will knockoff just do more? It does. It's not even super effective. It just does more. Oh, you had a nugget. Ah, well, we could have had so much gold. Show me the gold. I want it. I need it. Get quick. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need experience. God, it's just habit. I'm sorry. I would have taken Maractus, though. I've literally never used a Maractus or its evolved form. I can't even think of what its evolved form is. Because I never used it. Unfortunate. Uh, Taylor, do you have an item? Okay, Jordan does. This is your only redeeming quality, and you have a Thunderstone, Jordan. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead and cop that. See, starting to pull your weight. Appreciate that. Next Pokemon that we could have got is... That sounds like the noise of the silhouette Pokemon before. A Metacham. Also would have taken that. Although, then we'd have another Psychic, which we already have two grants, so it doesn't matter. I'm not fighting this. Wait, no, stop, Ashley. 
I know you're bloodthirsty. I know you just want to kill. But we need to set our priorities straight. Let's go to the other route and hope we get a better encounter. Doesn't have to end like this. Uh, who do I want to, I guess... Perry, this is your job. Carry the torch now, my friend. We can get past the wild Pokemon. Another Taylo. <sighs> so far, the route hasn't had crazy people. Metachamp's pretty sick, but we'd already have a potential Hypno. Um, I guess I'll fight this tail just because Perry's a little in love. There we go. See, Headbutt coming in huge. I think the best one for us, though, in our current state, would have been that uh, Marac... Marac... Maracnia? Maractus? I straight up don't even remember its name. That's literally how little I've seen of that Pokemon, used that Pokemon. The list goes on. I don't think it's Maracnia, because that's literally Cacnea, but with a mar Marac at the beginning. Better da 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 Primplup's pretty sick, though. It knows Tackle. Oh no, whatever will I do? Printpup's not steel yet, I don't believe. No, it's not steel yet. Okay, good. I'd be down for an Empoleon. That'd be pretty sick. Any of the Gen 4 starters sound pretty sick right now. Well, we did have Infernape last time around. So we'll, we'll skip that, you know. But see, that's also the thing about having a randomized game with even more Pokemon. You know, now that we're up to the 6th Gen... We added two more gens, which means the likelihood that we get a Pokemon we want or a good Pokemon is even lower because now there's just a bigger pool, you know? Girder, you are fi ground rock fighting. I think you're fighting. If I'm wrong, I'm dead. You're 100% fighting. Look at those roids. Hey, look at that. Might not have played that much, but I've played enough. I love how this Pokemon literally just walks around with steel beams. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Get some overkill here. The only thing I don't like about Girder is whatever's going on with his head right there. It makes me very uncomfortable. It's like it's his brain, but it's exposed or something. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. it gives me the heba jibbers. Because it's like it's hair, but it's not hair. You know? Like that's just his skull. It's weird. Okay, on to the next route, finally. Alright, so that was Route 114, I do believe. Next up, we have Route 115. Which is going to hold a magical, magical Pokemon. Just wait. Wait a little bit longer. What does this say? Where do, we, where do I just... Where are the Pokemon? Hello? Can I not encounter yet? Do I need... Fudge! Are you... Are you, you, are you serious right now? Found a zinc? Come on, there's gotta be grass or something. Okay. Don't... Uh, I wanna encounter something! No! Oh no, IGN. 8 out, eight out of 8, there's just too much water. No! Thought we'd get an encounter here. No. No. Ah. All right. That's a bit of a setback. Thought we would get an encounter. Okay. Let's see if we can go. Is there a hidden item in here? Okay. I don't know why there's a little out out cove there. I'm gonna see if we can go a little further here. Hold on. Oh, this is Route 116. Uh, can I get past you without fighting you? Yes, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think there's a cave up here. We'll, we'll, uh, just dip in the cave real quick, see what's up. See what's good. I don't care about your face. I'm gonna run away. You nerd. I didn't, I couldn't rhyme it to the end there. Ooh. Hello, hiker. Whoop! You got your baited. Uh, that's some random house that we don't care about. All right, so Rust Turf Tunnel. This is where I'd always get my Wismers. Come on, Rust Turf Tunnel. Don't hold out on me now. What? Can I not? Okay. All right. This is my Lugia. Wait. 
Oh no, Gothita. Oh fuck! Why are we? We only have like four types on this team out of like the 20 Pokemon has 16, 18, I don't actually know. And somehow we're only getting dupes. What the fudge? Do we go with Gothita over Drowsy though? Hmm. I'll leave that to you in the comment section if I can catch this thing first off. Uh, but if we do end up catching it, what would you guys rather see? You want me to evolve Gothita into Gothitelle eventually? Or we go for Drowsy. I think Gothitelle might be the better option. And also, I've never really used Gothitelle, so that's also why I'm tempted to use it, just because it's different. Like I said, I've, you know, I, I know Drowsy, but I don't know Gothita. It's new, it's exciting. I would have headbutt Gothita, but it would have died. No, oh my god, no doubt. That's a crit. Oh, fudge, it's confused. Oh, nice. Way to not hurt yourself. One of the, one of the very rare times I would say something like that. No, I mean, it's like, come on, hurt yourself, but not this time. Nay. All right. This is it. Now I'm going to look. I'm just going to, I'm just going to listen for the jiggles. One, two, three. Look at that. I'm one with the force and the force is with me. Gothita was cut. I do believe it was a female Gothita. We'll double check here. This Pokemon has not been identified in Hoenn. Oh, there you go. Give a nickname. Yes. No, it's a male. Oh, it's a male. Okay. This is going to be named Julio. Julio the Gathita. Thank you very much, Julio, for your comment. And again, just a friendly reminder, make sure to like the video and comment down below for your chance to be... One of the Pokemon in the Let's Play. Uh, let's see if you were holding an item, Gothita. I really hope so. You were. And you were holding... Qualot Berry. All right. Not exciting. I was gonna I was gonna say, like, maybe, you know, the Swampertite. Even though I need the, the Z-Ring. Or not the Z-Ring. The bracelet, I would use it. Uh, not important. I'll just go ahead and take it, though. Julio. And then... Should I just start to uh, train Julio? Maybe I'll just throw him in the front right now. Party in the front and a party in the back. Switch, reverse, reverse. All right, Julio, time for you to shine. Don't know what you do, I don't know what you're about, but I trust you. Welcome to the team. Just love double typing all these kind of Pokemon. There should be a blockade here. Yeah, okay. Had double check. I, I want to get out of here before I figure out what else we could encounter. It might only be a Gothita. I would have taken Rotom. To, oh my god. Would have taken Rotom 10 times out of 10. If I get the option. One, two types we don't already have. And two, Rotom's cooler. Ghost Electric good? Yeah, I'm down. But no, let's just get another Psychic type. Why not? We did get pretty lucky with our Heart Gold interactions though, so I can't say too much. Our starting party was kind of insane with Heart Gold. And there's there's no way. I mean, we found like Infernape and Venusaur in one episode towards the beginning. Doesn't get much better than that. That's if I want a secret base. Um, in the meantime... Oh. That was close. I could cut these trees. Does this actually... I don't think I can go anywhere. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll probably teach Taylor cut if I can. Really? The only person that can learn cut is Gligar. Well, I'm not doing that. So I guess we're just not going to find out what's over there. Rip! I don't think there's a route beyond that little thing, as far as I remember. But we'll never know now. We will never know. Ugh. Alright, Julio. Let's do this too. Julio. You seem to have a trap. You seem to have a problem running away. Um, I'm Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to need you to run away here, Julio. 
What do you, what, what do you even know? What's your ability? What are your move? Well, we know what your moves are. But what's your ability? Competitive. Boost the special attack stat when a stat is lowered. Interesting. You got no attack, but it's all about that special attack. Some pretty decent defensive things. Okay. All right, Julio. I see you. I see me, muchacho. We don't want to fight here right now. What was that noise? That is not a noise that I'm familiar with. Uh, I don't know where it is. All right. Whatever. Fudge. Just let me get out of my life. That's what the noise was. A cool dark. Well, that's fine. We already had a water type. And now that I think about it, it's another water psychic. J Jesus, dude. Just dual types of stuff we have everywhere. Freaking everywhere, man. You do not stand a chance in this fight. But I do want to give you a little experience. So I will help you out. And by myself, I mean Perry. I'm a trainer. I don't do the fighting. I'll let you guys fight for me. Bam, ba -da -da -down. That's right. Do your worst, Poppy. That's not your worst. I said, do your worst. Or I'll just one-shot you. Wow, you're faster. Goldex is a sick Pokemon. But alas, twas not meant to be. Wow, only half your health. Oh man, he's fast. He's bulky. He's sick. Where, where, we need... If we'd gotten that Maracne or whatever the fuck... Maractus, I want to say that's its name. Could have gotten a grass type, which we need. We need a fire type. It's always good to have that water, fire, grass staple. And then we have ground flying and psychic beyond the staple. Julio learned play nice. An invaluable move. Truly. With that, honestly, I think we just go ahead and take the gem on. I think we do it. Let's get it out of the way. Let's end this hour-long episode on a high note, why don't we? Good evening, yes, please take my Pokemon while I take a quick water break. At least we have a full team of six now. So we'll have some Pokemon in the weights as long as we don't lose anyone here. But we won't because I believe in my Pokemon. So who do we lead with? We're See, I don't know if we're gonna keep Julio. I was gonna say we could experience trade here, but I just want to kill this gym leader without any problems. I can train Julio later. Right? It's not that big of an issue. Start with Hannah. Hannah only has one weakness. Right? Gra ground. Pretty sure that's all poison's only weakness. Ah. Hello! You must be a new challenger. I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. See, I, I, would, I just can't do it. I can't do a girl voice. I became a gym leader. So, oh my god. We're just going to talk to right now, okay? My voice can't do it. So that I may apply and battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Prepare to get wrecked, Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll start with Hannah. Let's do it! Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. I think I actually... Ace Duo Josh. Wow, it's a double battle. I had no idea. Just goal. Um, I think I actually could have made... Gym trainers all have six Pokemon. I think that was a setting. Or... On the opposite, they just don't... You don't even have to battle them. Um... I didn't think about it. Maybe I, maybe I should have done a trainer. Wow, now that just seems ridiculous. Gym. Every gym trainer having six Pokemon. That would be nuts. And again, catch 22. I do that. I get through them. That's even more XP and then I'm even higher level, you know? That's always the, the catch with an RPG system like this. It's like, oh, I'm having troubles. Okay, I'll just level higher, you know? Uh, I honestly forgot what they're sending out. Skarmory, I think? I think. I wasn't really paying attention. I saw it, but then I forgot it. But if so... Oh, it is Skarmory. Okay. Well, I got a fat Volt Switch for this fella. Get Volt Switched. Bruh. Just one and done it. One and done it. This isn't Lugia. 
What? Ah, oh, sturdy. That's why. Get back. Um, we could pull out Julio here, but I doubt you're faster. You'd probably just die, and that would... Don't want that to be how <laughs> your story ends, my friend. But you know what? The game is making it harder by giving me no good encounters. That's what it's doing. It's a clever move. Clever move. And get out of my face, Skarmory. God, we are just killing it. Yes. Because, yeah, I think her highest Pokemon is like a level... Normally, like a level 11 Probo Pass or something. Fury Cutter. Uh... Do we wanna? I mean, it's not the worst thing. Maybe we replace hard, sure. It's good to have. Tenzo level 16, yeah, beautiful. Ooh, Mud Shot. Don't mind if I do, because Mud Slap only does 20 damage. No, nope. fudge, why does it do that? No, forget, yes. Mud Shot does 55, yeah. Screw Mud Slap. Ta-da, Tenzo learn mud shot. And Josh is out of here. Get out of my face. Away, says the snake. We got a Haban berry. Oh, that's what it is. I was like, why does it have text? I'm just going to say for the sake of it. Um, I think just like we had in Heart Gold, there's a slight chance that trainers can give you an item after they battle you. And so, like, if it doesn't have any text and then they just get an item, that's what's happening. And it's another May battle. My god. I think at this point, I've already battled May more times than you would normally in just the regular playthrough. But an Alakid, that's cute. It, I, like, actually, it is cute. But it's also cute because it's gonna die. As in, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. To take a stand. Everybody, everybody, come take my hand. Come take me. We'll walk this road together. Now imagine we had the e-experience share on. Like, oh my god. Venoshock? You are just learning everything right now. It's a special attack. I don't know what your special's like. We will replace Lick. Yeah. We'll replace Lick. And Hannah learned Venoshock. And we defeated whoever that was. May, Mr. Forgettable, I don't really know what his name was. And the last trainer. Now the thing about this, just like, even like Pewter City Gym. Who am I fighting? Dude! Oh, pff, God! Um, will you just leave me alone, May? Now I'm, it's, it, it's getting weird to like that weird stalker stage. It's making me uncomfortable. I can't really say I like it. I don't know what's good against you. You're what? Bug Rock? I think? Yeah, that would explain. Okay. Ooh. Only does one damage, but if we let him set that up, it's going to turn into more damage, which we don't want. So we'll let Tenzo make quick work of this girl. I'm not about to get Whitneyed. Although Shuckle's offensive stats are... Shuckle's stats really, yeah, outside of defense, are just straight butt. So, nothing really to worry about, but we'll just get this over with sooner rather than later. Look, this is rollout three, and it does two damage. And he's, I mean, yes, I'm six higher level. Six higher level, six levels higher, but it wouldn't make that much of a difference normally. But Shuckle's dead. And that's it. Another May down. How many are there in this world? Jesus. All right. And then, just like I was if I was a little kid, save before the fight. You never know what's going to happen. If I lose, I just pretend it never happened. I fight her again. Let's start with Perry. Just because... Actually, no. I still... Just be. I don't want to do Perry right now just because if we do switch to Julio, there's no point in sinking experience into him. So, we'll actually lead with... Just especially because we know we're always going to keep Tenzo. But da 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 da
cutscene kind of ish. Yeah, just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? We are fighting Roxanne. Leader Roxanne sends out Azuril. That's a uh, fairy type, so unfortunate. Oh, yeah, see? This is cool, though. So the gem leader does have six Pokemon. Oh, the gem leader has six Pokemon. <laughs> I totally, yeah. So if everything's level 12, yeah, but there's six level 12s. Ooh, this might get interesting. It depends on what Pokemon she has. If she has Doodoo Butts Pokemon, then, you know, if they're all Azuril, then I'm not worried. But, you know, if she's got five Arceus in the back pocket, well, then we're going to be worried. Uh, tackle should still kill you, and I'll probably switch out because I don't like you reducing my stats there, bruh. But Azrael's gone. I'll get a whole bunch of no experience yet. 97. Uh, ironically enough, it's enough to level me up, though, so. Bagon. Not frightening. But who's our best against this? I don't think it really matters. I'll send out Hannah. Nah, I get, we'll, we'll do Ashley, sure. Pretty much, essentially the same thing. Hannah might have gotten it done faster. But I feel like I'm also more likely to keep Ashley. Hannah's still up in the air. Right now, Hannah's sick. But if our team gets any better, which it, at this rate, it won't. Ah, yeah, get rid of your... Thank God. I... Wait a minute. Level 17 Bagon? What the fudge? Holy sweet Jesus. I thought... Wow. Hold on. Am I ready for this? Well, it's a little late for that. I saw a dragon, and I just thought it was Dragon Rage. And I was about to be pissed. Granted, Ashley would have lived. Uh... I feel like if it knew Dragon Rage, it would have used it. Is that a foolish thinking? Potentially. I have to be careful here because I want Knock Off to kill it, but I don't want her to heal this thing. But, uh, quick attack. This might do too much. Oh, no. Perfect. Dragon Breath again. Now, thank God. If, if you ever turn that into Rage, then that's what I'm going to be doing. All right. Take the big on out. Yes. Okay. Oh, and a crit. All right. So that should be her ace. I know I did be level 17. Flareon. Ah. We'll go straight into Tenzo. No need to mess around. And I think we opt for Mud Bomb rather than Water Gun because I think Mud Bomb's stronger here. Level 18 Flareon. Okay. What? I wonder if because it's randomized to six that they have... I don't know, but yeah, this is actually, this is actually harder than I thought it would be. We're still doing okay, but this is interesting. I like this. It does make it more challenging. That is all you did. Flareon is pretty beefy, though, to be fair. Okay, that's fine. Not scared. I'm not afraid. Now, just for science, let's see how much Water Gun would do. Okay, I think literally like the exact same, I believe. Got some pocket sand in my eyes. All right, flare on down. Now that is surely your ace, level 18. Surely, surely your ace, right? Holy experience, Batman. Well, that's my ace. Do you want to learn bind? No. We're gonna we're gonna give up on bide. Yes, I don't want to sit still for two turns while I get the Dickens. Um, well, it just so happens you're gonna stay in because you're really the only one with any moves. Because essentially we have three Pokemon right now. I know that we have Julio and Perry, but we're not sure what we're using. So let's just say we have Hannah, Ashley, and Tenzo. Hannah and Ashley both know poison types, dark types. And technically, like, a bug. But that's pretty much it. So, essentially, they're the same person right now. So, Tenzo, yeah, it's just... 
as I can't say I'm surprised, I'm gonna be carrying most of this game, or at least these first until until I get an actual team. It's gonna be the backbone, and if we ever lose Tenzo, then we lose hope. Flinch me one more time. That. Oh, but now the pocket sand comes into play, really? Just, just hit a water gun, buddy. Thank you. All right. That will kill it. Wait a minute. What's that? What? What? I got hurt by the robot berry. If that somehow killed me, oh my god, I. Whoa, my god, I can't. I don't want to think about it. Scissor. Okay. So we just go Hannah again and use bite. Because that seems like your best option here. Poison is not effective. And I don't want to risk Tenzo right now. I'd rather risk Hannah than Tenzo. A little 16 Scissor. This is a fight. I will give it that. This is a fight and a half. Now, flinch him. Two shot this. What? That does so... You're going to false swipe me? That did more than I thought. To be fair. More than I thought, to be fair. We could swagger it. Ah, but then if it backfires and it actually just uses the buffs to kill us, that would be embarrassing. So I'm just going to go for the flinches, which don't work. And now it's lowering my defense. Oh, God. Okay, so slight problem here is another bite after this will force a heal unless we crit. Now it's going to use focus energy. Oh, my God. The scissor might destroy my life. Come on, flinch it or crit it. Crit? Yeah, let's just crit. Let's crit. Fudge. Flinched! Okay, well, at least you flinched. Now it'll get healed. It's only a potion, though. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, you probably have a lot of freaking po freaking health. So, not worst case, we're two turns off. We're gonna flinch him. We're just gonna flinch him twice. We're gonna use the hacks. And... Uh, okay, he's gonna lower defense, though, so... Shouldn't have another heal? I don't know. We're going to find out. I was going to say, it's the first gym leader. They should only have one heal. Scizor down. All right. Never really took any damage, but I was scared nonetheless. It's good to be cautious. Level 17. Bada bing, bada boom. Purloin. You're just normal type, I believe. I will let Ashley clean this one up. Although you are beefy. You're a beefy girl. You're a big girl. Oh. I was thinking of purr ugly. Oh. Why why are there all these purrs? They're all the same. Purline is dark normal, right? Or dark, maybe just dark. In that case. Fury cutter! Assist. Ooh, what is that? Charm. Okay, that's fine. No, that's not fine. Now you're lowering my attack. Which means I'm less likely to kill you. Uh, I'm not too scared about whatever move you're going to use. You're just using assist, so. Headbutt. Oh, wait. Oh, only seven damage. And it's a crit. Okay, yeah, I'm not scared anymore. Just kidding. I'm still going to potion, though. Because if, if I've learned anything through the Nuzlocke, which is apparently not much, I keep making a lot of the same mistakes, it's that anything can happen. Okay, now can can I just can I do my thing now? Why why don't you attack first, Ashley? Oh, well, all right, fair enough. Hey, ooh, a crit! Let's go, Ashley. Ooh, girl. And this hour-long video looks to be going a little bit over too. So surprise! It's because of the gym leader battle. I wanted to get the gym out of the way. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state the trainers receive this if they defeated gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da we got the stone badge. Stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get traits, will also obey you. And please take this with you too. TM39 refresh. Not what she thinks it is. It's not, it's not Rock Tomb. Don't lie to me like that. How could you just lie to my face like that? How do you sleep at night? Um, with that though. Gonna go ahead and save here, and that, ladies and gentlemen, 
shall conclude this hour powered video of the Nuzlocke. Again, if you enjoyed this, you want to see another one next Friday, make sure to like the videos next week and this one, um, mainly because it makes me feel good and I like it. Hope you guys do enjoy though. And send me your energy. We need to get some something. I don't know what, but we need to get something here pretty soon. Otherwise, we're going to have a mediocre team, which maybe that's for the best. I don't know. It's certainly going to make it challenging. With that said, though, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. Farewell.